what we see with COVID-19 in the United States is basically high levels of activity all over the country when you look at cases, when you look at wastewater positivity. But it's important to know that this is to be expected. We've seen these summer increases every summer that COVID-19 has been with us. COVID, unlike a lot of other respiratory viruses, seems to have dual seasonality, meaning that we see this increase in the summer and we also see the expected increase like we see with other respiratory viruses in the winter. And this likely has to do with a couple of different things. So in the summer, uh, people get hot, they go indoors where we know the virus transmits more efficiently. The vaccines that are currently available right now are not well matched to the variants that are circulating. And, and you know, speaking of the variants, the, va the fact is the virus continues to mutate to be able to get around some of the immunity that people have to be able to infect. One of the other things that happens in the summer are people go on vacations, people travel, which can then allow mixing of people that may be a little bit different than the mixing that was going on in the spring. You're going to see children going back to school, which usually heralds the, the beginning of respiratory virus season. So we expect COVID-19 to stay elevated from late summer, kind of in through fall and into winter. And we also will see other viruses like RSV and influenza starting to circulate. So it's really important, for example, uh, to keep abreast of all the different vaccines that are available. So there's going to be a new vaccine for COVID-19. There's going to be a flu vaccine rollout and, and RSV vaccines for, for high-risk individuals. So there are many tools that people can use going into fall 